What instrument does a pair of sheep play? A tuba! What is a sheep's favorite snack? A banana. What is a sheep's favorite type of dance? Ballet. What's a sheep's favorite kind of car? A Lamborghini. Where does a sheep watch shows? On YouTube. In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go Questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness to show
There's a spirit I cannot contain. There's a spirit I cannot contain. The same power that raised Jesus up from the grave. The same spirit I cannot contain. Morning. Welcome back. Today we're going to look at Jesus' disciples again. We have talked about Easter. We have talked about Jesus coming back and raise, being raised from the dead and meeting people on the road. Um, and today we're going to talk about one of the disciples in particular. This disciple's name is Peter. Now Peter was very passionate about following Jesus and he thought he was doing an amazing job back when the disciples were talking around the table before Jesus died. Peter thought he was he was pretty cool. He, he was probably one of Jesus's favorites, maybe he thought. He was really excited about being a follower of Jesus. Well, that was a really crazy day for Peter. We're gonna watch a little bit of story of what happened around that time that Jesus died and Peter in this story. What was going on with Peter? And we'll see you on the other side of the video. We'll see you in a bit. The Miracle of Mercy, Peter. This is Peter. hey Whoop! Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? but that he would follow him later. But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me. Peter, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh-oh. But Peter said, Even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I do. Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus, 
Arr! And he cut off the ear of one of the guards. Ow. But Jesus healed the guard Arr! and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Uh, hello. <clears throat> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Uh -huh. Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma. But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, no, I'm not. Uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. <coughs> Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind, and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, Have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, Throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, It's Jesus. When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mmm, -hmm, I miss a fish. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven. And many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. lost his mind. <laughs> Peter had a bad day. Hey, I think that when you have the kind of day that you get so upset and scared that you chop somebody's ear off, it's not a good day. You have a bad day when you say you do something and you don't just not do it once, but multiple times. One time you say, nope, I'm actually not going to do it. Second time again, third time again, he messed up. Have you ever felt like Peter? Has there ever been something that you really wanted to do well and that maybe you thought you did really well and then you suddenly found out one day that maybe you didn't do it so well? Or maybe you promised your mom and dad, yeah, 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 I'll clean up my stuff. And then you don't. You keep doing what you said 
the opposite of what you said you would do. That's hard. You know what? That's really hard when we have to realize that we're not perfect and that we can mess up. And in the story of Peter, it was something that kind of broke his heart. He loved Jesus so much and he had no plans at ever not loving Jesus and showing that. And he was asked once and he suddenly changed his mind and got scared and said, no, I don't know this man. We can make mistakes. We can mess up. Sometimes they're little mess ups. Sometimes they're giant ones. And the most incredible thing about the story for me personally is the piece I love the most is knowing that God gives us grace. God gives us mercy. And he gives us opportunity to change, to grow, and to show our love to him in new ways. And that was so perfectly shown in the story of Peter. As he met Jesus by the water, Jesus gave him an opportunity to change his words. And more than that, Jesus then gave him a challenge to show that he really meant it by his actions. See, because our words are shown off of our lips, but the true intent, the true meaning of our hearts, those things get shown by what we do. Jesus is asking us to feed his sheep. Now, is that like a little fuzzy sheep? Is that what he's looking to do? I know some of you have had pet sheep and you know what it's like to feed sheep Do Are those the kinds of sheep? No, he wants us to feed the people around us by loving people and serving them. And I think that's really, really neat that we get to show God we love him and that we're followers of him by what we do with our actions. That's a really great challenge. So the first great thing in our story is we know that even when we mess up, God still loves us. In his story, in the God story that we keep looking at, we see a God who continues to give us opportunities to grow and to change. He also then gives us an opportunity to show us to show him um, that we are followers of him and that we actually do love him. And we can show him by our actions, by serving the people around us. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us. Thank you again for Jesus. That story just doesn't get old. It is important every day and not just at Easter. Thank you that we can see examples um, of people like us, Peter, who makes mistakes and says one thing but does the opposite. And that you show us that you love us and you still have great things for us. And you give us an opportunity to make a better choice. Thank you for that. I pray that you would help us to continue to grow and learn all about you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for coming by, guys, today or for coming to Kids Church. And we will see you all next week. Bye-bye.